Ah, cool. I thought I'll do another one. Why not? Because uh, I'm in a talkative mood and I've got a lot to share. Um, <clears throat> yeah, people are going to start realizing who they really are. Um, some through your through through your whole life, um, you get little glimpses of your soul. Yeah, in certain lessons and just going through life, your soul's always trying to guide you. Um, and your intuition is your um, your your map, your your navigation. So if something's feeling off, um, your intuition will tell you that something's off. But it's up to you, like because we're in a free will universe, it's up to you to choose whether you want to choose a certain situation or not. But um, as we proceed forward in evolution, the ascension, should we say? Um, becoming the new new human should i say because this is what we're doing has never happened before in the whole universe so we're going through a lot right um the sun is just doing the most look at that she is be he is beaming raw um yeah so we did we've we got a lot to deal through and work through to then proceed forward because um, what we're actually trying to do you see when um, as a kid not everyone but as a kid everyone the uh, people <laughs> all right cool. let me talk from the I I as a kid everything used to be all fun and games and happy and blah 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 and then uh, I think at a certain I think it was about seven or eight um, I think when I was reading I think trauma happens to people around seven or eight so then you have, then your ego steps in to protect you, right? Um, from certain circumstances and that. Um, but where we're going, um, energetically wise, we the defenses that we have used to have, we we no longer need, um, and we're being shown to obviously work through certain things and have certain things in place. Like for me as an empath, boundaries, um, I used to struggle a lot with boundaries. So now I'm learning to help put boundaries in place because if you don't have boundaries, there's nothing that separates you from another, right? Um, so yeah, as we proceed forward, um, yeah, you're going to start living more from your soul and not your ego your ego was there to we, we all we the ego can never die because it's a part of the 3d realm right um and we need it to actually function here but the ego was meant to serve the soul not the soul serve the ego and what we're going to start seeing is um this playing out so you start being able to not tolerate certain things, or well, I have started to learn, um, sorry, I have started to be able to not tolerate certain things, like I physically can't, do, like if I'm in certain situations, my body will not shut down, um, but yeah, I, I know that I need, need to leave, um, that's why I've kind of been the last, the last year or so, I've been kind of anti-social because I've been mindful of my energy because everything that's going on out in the external world, um, if you're not aware of your own energy, you're going to be taking on other people's energy and shit. So, um, yeah, I've just been keeping it to myself recently um, while, things, while, while things occur um, in the external world to not get attached to them. Um, because if a thing, yeah, it's going to have an effect on us on the energetic level. So if you was calm and centered, um, and then you go to the supermarket and someone bumps into you and they're pissed off, you're going to start being pissed off and then your whole day's fucked up. Right. Um, so yeah, no, trying to avoid that. I've been trying to avoid that. Um, look, I'm just out getting that grounding in. Look at that. Some people ain't touched mother earth in so long and this is why they're ungrounded. If you've been feeling um, up in your head a lot, and now the sun wants to start coming out and beaming, you know, this is all mad. This is all mad. So I'll take that as a sign. Yes, I'm meant to be doing a video. All right, mate. 
if you've been feeling up in your head a lot, um, this is a clear indicator to go out and grind because uh, people think that ascension is about raising your vibration and blah, blah, blah. But the, in reality, it is about grounding the energy in, yeah? Obviously, if you're feeling ungrounded, you're gonna suffer from depression, feel insecure, um, you're going to be in survival mode. The root chakra is your survival chakra and it's there to keep you safe. But as you progress on your journey, you want to start moving up the chakras. If you ha don't know th about the chakras, I suggest you go check them out because, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're very important for your journey, should I say. And you can understand where blockages are and why you act a certain way and certain things come up in your life, should I say. Um, okay, moving on. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, so, yeah, the root chakra, sorry, um, being ungrounded, but we are actually, look, all the birds are starting to act mad when I'm coming now, you know, <laughs> look, 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 see, I told you shit is happening, um, most people in, in, like, yeah, most people actually stay trapped within the lower three chakras, yeah, so your survival chakra, the um, survival chakra, your pleasure, your pleasure chakra, as I call it, the second one, the second one's to do with um, sexuality, pleasure, desire, um, and reproduc reproduction, should we say? Um, and then the third one is about power, self-esteem. Um, courage and willpower and stuff and most people get trapped in the lower three chakras yeah um, so they can be operating from them lower three chakras for their whole lifetime that's why they call them life lessons yeah because th most of them lessons are stuck in the lower three so you want to be raised trying to raise past them lower three and work through your heart chakra um, forgiveness acceptance love unity all that good stuff and then the higher chakras are more of your um how should we say it what's the word i call the lower ones your your human chakras um and your godly chakras should we say um commun communication your intuition insight and then your connection to the divine um so Having a good understanding of the chakras is quite important and it's very, benef I would say it's very beneficial for anyone on the journey at this time. If you don't know about the chakras, I would suggest you go and check them out because um, they'll be helpful. Like if you're struggling with certain things, I don't know, low self-esteem, depression, anxiety, um, you can kind of target where it is and um, start working with it because there will be a blockage there. If there's a blockage in that chakra, it will not be spinning um and the chakra can be overactive or underactive so i'm just using this as an example if you've got an overactive second chakra you'll be very sexual in nature if it's underactive you may not really be interested by sex you will have low creativity low imagination and if it's blocked altogether when you shut it down um you could, people can shut um, chakras down due to trauma and past experiences as well so that's um, something to be mindful of as well um here we go mate um where was i going with that oh yeah and for women uh, i don't know if this keeps coming up for me to to share the knowledge for women um it's um important to um do work on your all these birds are just going mad from from where I'm at right now. As soon as I walk past they start start screaming and shouting and it's not communicating with them and um yeah it's important for women um to do a lot of healing and work on the sacral chakra yeah um your womb because women are the receivers of energy and men are givers of energy right um so the more sexual partners you have as a woman the more energy you're going to be storing in your womb yeah 
or your sacral chakra, chakra should we say. So when you let a man enter you, he's, you're going to be taking on everything that he's been through, right? In a way, energetically wise, yeah? Um, so in certain scenarios, you can start taking on some of his traits. So if he's bad-minded in nature, that's going to have an effect on your energy field and it will get stored in your sacral chakra. So if you're usually a kind, outgoing person and you have an energetic exchange with someone who isn't so good in nature, you will start, you may start acting how they act, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, um, that's, um, I don't know, for some reason that keeps getting, um, keeps getting told to me to kind of share that information, I don't know why, but um, yeah, so I shared it anyway. Um, what else is popping? Um, yeah, the 3D realm is just, it's crumbling, it's crumbling. Um, so we've got to do as much as possible to connect with oneself and to stay centered during this time because there's going to be a lot of triggers in the external world um, and some of these triggers can be bloody family members which kind of sucks so you have to be mindful and stay on your path because everyone's path is different everyone's path is different and unique to them on their soul journey so as much as it may um, feel bad about Mm, some maybe not cutting off someone but um um how should we say it um what's the word what's the word sometimes we can't cut people off sometimes we have to limit the amount of, of energy that we give to people places and things during this time um but like i was saying before everyone's journey is unique so your journey is going to be unique to you and hello love <laughs> the other animals want to come say hi it's all mad it's all mad um so yeah and like i was saying before not everyone is going to where you're going if you're on your journey right um some people are just here to play a part in that um so you may want some friends and family members oh, to become a conscious. Why can't you see? Why can't you see? This and that. But they're not, they're not meant to see or they're choosing not to see. Um, and that's OK. That's their journey. That's not your journey. You just got to stay on path and um, just stay on path and go to where you got to go, man. Because like I was saying, not everyone, not everyone's going to make it, man. Um, and some people are going to get kind of how should we say trapped in the 3d realm with the distractions so social media technology um material shit that you don't need like how many pairs of shoes have people got and they only wear one pair or how many pairs of they got closets of clothes cars and shit and they're not in use or have like a 10 bedroom house and only stay in one one room of the house and the rest of the house is all getting dusty and shit like it's not needed where we're going, we're going into a time where you're going to have what you need and then you can share the rest because there's enough to go around. There's enough to go around. But for some reason, there are entities that don't want that. They want to cause division, um, divide and conquer. They don't want unity. They fear a world of love because it's a world that they can't control. Um, George Orwell, I think. Um, yeah, and that's, we're starting to see that more. We're starting to see people coming more together and un, um, uniting um, because this is how community runs. <laughs> that's, that's how community runs and tribes and fucking um, indigenous people like fucking without, they call indigenous people and tribal people, um, what, what do they call them? They call them un, uncivilized, yeah? But have you seen the 3D world? How That seems real civilized, right? You've got to pay to live, yeah. You've got to pay to live, yeah? You're taking drugs that are, they're giving you drugs to say that they're 
they're helping you, but they're actually making you sick. Mother Earth provides everything that you need. Everything that you need, you can find it in a herb or a plant. Yeah, just to let you know. Um, but in the 3D realm, like I was saying, they're, they're, they're yeah. Uh, as as I say, the 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 pharmacy are only there to keep you sick, um, because a, a patient cured is a customer lost. Yeah, when um, you can get everything from nature that you need, um, and everything is how it should be in nature. It's only when you go into like. <laughs> when you come into nature, you don't see the trees and flowers competing with each other. They all do their own separate thing, yeah? But they're all still united, right? But when you go into the 3D realm or the concrete jungle, everything is all chaos and madness and separation and just, yeah, it's just mad. And you're starting to see more and more of it, which is interesting. But I'm not sure how many of these videos I'm going to do because I've got, I'm getting so much downloads at the moment. It's mad. But yeah, this is part two of the part one of the crazy talk. 